Thirteen years ago, a person or group using the name Satoshi Nakamoto released a paper describing a new software system called Bitcoin. Today, Bitcoin is worth more than $1 trillion and has sparked a phenomenon that its proponents believe might rewire the entire global financial network. Today, we will tell you everything about Satoshi Nakamoto, the mystery behind Bitcoin and blockchain. Number 5. Who is Satoshi Nakamoto? The first Bitcoin. BTC was mined on January 3, 2009, by someone known as Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, Satoshi Nakamoto is recognized as the pseudonym of the person or group of people who created Bitcoin, the invisible figure or figures whose technological creation has influenced the world. Satoshi Nakamoto was already a familiar name among cryptography enthusiasts, like computer scientists and hackers, long before the Bitcoin boom. Someone had posted on online message boards and corresponded with fellow developers via email under the same name years prior. Although unconfirmed, it is widely suspected that the person or persons behind the pseudonym was also behind those communications. Months before mining the first Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto had published a white paper on a cryptography mailing list entitled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. The paper, published on October 31, 2008, outlined a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer protocol that was cryptographically secure. In the white paper, Nakamoto described it as a purely peer-to-peer -peer version of electronic cash that would allow online payments to be sent directly from one party to another without going through a financial institution or any intermediary. Number 4. Why was Bitcoin created? Although Nakamoto remains a mysterious figure, his goal for creating cryptocurrency in itself was never a mystery. Simply put, he created it to take financial control back from financial elites, giving ordinary people a chance to take part in a decentralized financial system. Bitcoin remains open source, meaning that no one has the power to own or control it in its entirety. Its design is public, and it is open for anyone to participate. Bitcoin was a response to the great financial crisis, which showed that even the world's biggest banks can fail. It highlighted the fragility of the modern financial system and called for the decentralization of financial transactions. As such, cryptocurrency was born and Bitcoin was one of the first options outside the traditional financial system for the public to participate in intermediate free financial transactions. The blockchain is how cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin develop trust among users and ensure security, as it is a network-based ledger that all participants can access. The Genesis block of Bitcoin was mined on January 3, 2009 by Satoshi Nakamoto, officially launching the blockchain. A Genesis block is the first block of a cryptocurrency to be mined and acts as the foundation of the blockchain. For the first few months of its existence, Bitcoin had no monetary equivalent worth. Miners, people who use their computers to solve complex math problems to discover or mine new Bitcoin we're doing so only for the novelty. Number 3. The Origin of Satoshi Nakamoto Bitcoin was born after the subprime mortgage crisis of 2008, where liquidity in global financial markets was significantly affected by the housing market collapse. The crisis inspired the creation of Bitcoin, a fully functional form of digital currency based on a distributed ledger technology, DLT, called the blockchain. Nakamoto's white paper laid the groundwork for future forms of cryptographically secure systems that are designed to be tamper-proof, transparent, and censorship-resistant. The system's goal was to allow individuals to reclaim financial power through a decentralized financial system. The idea of decentralization eliminated the need for middlemen, such as companies, financial systems, or governments, to be involved in digital currency exchange. The transactions would be secure and tracked through a blockchain. The difference with blockchain was that it was visible to all participants and securely distributed across an entire network. Up until 2010, Nakamoto was active online, discussing the development of Bitcoin. They published their workings from the time of Bitcoin's conception, the Bitcoin White Paper, in 2008. Nakamoto shared plenty of their work, then went to ground just over a decade ago, only to pop up occasionally. Since then, around the world, amateur sleuths and computer experts and many others have been trying to work out who Nakamoto was or is. 
because whoever created Bitcoin is an extremely rich person, and the enigma is an appealing story. In 2014, a triumphant media pinpointed Japanese-American man Dorian Satoshi Nakamoto as the Nakamoto tailing him through Los Angeles, cornered by reporters outside his home. The slightly disheveled man said he hadn't heard of Bitcoin before being contacted by the media and asked about a free lunch. Later, a post by his Satoshi Nakamoto popped up online, declaring they were not Dorian. Then they disappeared again. In 2015, various reports pointed to four- to five-year-old Australian Craig Stephen Wright as being Nakamoto. Probably. Journalists had traced Wright's online history back to 2008 and found various links that hinted Wright was set to release a cryptocurrency back then and an email that used the Nakamoto name but had Wright's phone number. The Guardian reported the email discussed the possibility of lobbying then-Australian Senator Arthur Sinodinos about Bitcoin regulation. Nakamoto made another appearance, saying he wasn't right. Other names have been banded about, including that of entrepreneur Elon Musk, whose tweets about cryptocurrency have the ability to see its value rise and fall, Musk denied it. But it's still right who is the most oft speculated about candidate for Nakamoto. Number 2. Somebody must be Nakamoto, though, right? Yes, and over the years virtually anybody who did work even remotely similar to Bitcoin, such as Mr. Finney, who died in 2014, and Mr. Andresen, has been pegged as Nakamoto. All have denied it, and there hasn't been evidence to prove otherwise. In 2014, a group of students and researchers at Aston University in Birmingham, England, carried out a linguistics analysis and concluded that Mr. Shabo was most likely to be Nakamoto. Others have claimed he is Nakamoto as well. Mr. Shabo has denied the claim. Mr. Wright himself was sued by the family of a deceased colleague named Dave Kleiman. The suit claimed that Messrs. Wright and Kleiman developed Bitcoin together as part of a business partnership and that Mr. Wright owed Mr. Kleiman's family half of those one million bitcoins. The jury, however, found no evidence that the two created Bitcoin together. Lastly, one of the biggest clues Nakamoto is no longer with us, besides the complete lack of communication after 10 years, is the fact that the inventor's riches remain unspent to this day. It is widely assumed that Nakamoto owns a hoard of one million bitcoin, BTC, if the creator is still alive but the stash of more than $60 billion worth of BTC has never seen the light of day, and there's a good chance these coins are gone forever if Satoshi Nakamoto is deceased. However, at the end of the day, there are not enough facts that can prove Satoshi is dead, just as there are not enough facts that can prove Satoshi is alive. Number 1. Impact of Satoshi's Identity on Bitcoin Price Over the years, sleuths have combed through clues trying to identify Satoshi Nakamoto. Maybe Satoshi is someone already associated with Bitcoin, hiding in plain sight. Or maybe it's someone living in obscurity. Maybe they have since passed away. It could even be one of the people who have claimed to be Satoshi Nakamoto. According to Coinbase's IPO filing, revealing Satoshi Nakamoto's identity could be a major threat to the cryptocurrency market. A number of possible events could happen once Satoshi's identity is brought under the scanner. One is that Satoshi holds the key to 1.1 million bitcoins, which is around 5% of the total supply. In case, if Satoshi plans to sell off those 1.1 million coins, then the cryptocurrency market as a whole will collapse. If he is already deceased, then the world will learn that those bitcoins will be inaccessible forever. Therefore, revealing the face behind bitcoin is not going to help the digital currency market in any way. Bitcoin will have to gain its ground from adoption and popularity and make a bounce back to perform well in 2022. What do you think about the possibility that Satoshi Nakamoto is dead? Or do you think Bitcoin's inventor is alive and well? Let us know what you think about this subject in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.